In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic fidget cube, something you can put in your pocket, rub your thumb around all six sides, and uh, just pass the time. To start, you need a cube. So I'm going to drag the box shape uh, right in the center of my work plane, and uh, this is what I'm going to start working with. Um, 20 by 20 by 20 is the default shape size. Uh, I'm going to change this to be double the size. So I'm going to make it 40 by 40 and click on the height and 40. I find that to be a decent size uh, box and this, once we're all done we can resize it to be any size we want later as well. Um, the original box has some pretty sharp edges and so to soften some of those edges you can use the shape tools on the right hand side and play with the radius. Now if I slide this radius bar all the way across you can see I can go anyway from a complete solid box to a sphere practically. I find a good nice solid number is 3. So I can click over in this number and actually just type the number 3 and press enter and that gives me a nice good uh, rounded edge uh, that feels soft and it's not going to you know, cut into anything. The next thing we need to do is we need to add something to each of the six sides. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave the bottom side completely flat. Sometimes it's nice to have a flat, so it, ma it makes it easier to 3D print for one and to you know, it, it, there's uh, we don't need to put something on every single side. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my work plane tool to help me out. This is a really useful tool. Watch what it does. If I click on the work plane and I drag it onto my shape, you can see it wraps around all these different sides. And I'm going to click on the, or let go of my mouse button at the very top of the cube. And what that does is it brings the work plane to the top of the cube. So now anything that I drag over is now going to rest exactly on top of the cube. And I'm going to gra grab a sphere. So I'm going to grab a sphere and put it, and I know for sure that it's exactly touching the top of my cube. Now this sphere is way too big. I want to just resize this one to be a 6x6x6 six by six by six sphere. Now I could click on the corners and type the numbers and change the 20s to 6s, but here's a different way to resize shapes if you want all the sides to be the same uniform number. I'm going to hold the shift button in. I'm going to click on this top button here, and I'm going to drag it down, and you'll see it's resizing all, four, all three sides, I guess, at the same rate. And so there's a 6x6x6 six by six by six cube. Uh, that could work. All right, so now I'm going to click on this cube and I'm going to select everything, align it, and I'm going to make sure it is centered on the top of my uh, cube. All right, I'm going to click away. Now what I'm going to do with the cube is I want to duplicate it. I'm going to make a couple, like a little bit of a bumpy surface on here. So one of the things in order to, to help make things uh, easier to move apart. I changed my snap grid down here to two millimeters. By default, it's one millimeter. I'm going to make it two millimeters. It kind of makes things uh, snap a little bit better uh, for what we're doing in this project. So I'm going to click on this ball right here, or sphere, and I'm going to duplicate it two times. One, two. And so now I'm going to take this and if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that duplicates are there. They're just right on top of one another. So if I click on one, I'm going to use my right arrow key and move it over. Let's see here. One, two, three, four times. That sounds good. And I click on this next one. One, two, three, four. Now I have three cubes, or I'm sorry, three spheres right on top of my cube. Now to save some time, I'm going to click on, I'm going to hold the shift button in. I'm going to click on all three of these spheres to select all three of them and I'm going to group them together and I'm going to duplicate them two times and so now I'm going to press the up arrow button four times one two three four click on this thing one two three four and now I have a nice little array of spheres now that seems kind of silly to have them on top they might not even stick to the printer so I'm going to uh, embed those spheres into the cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the shift button again. I'm going to click on all nine spheres. There are three groups of three. I'm going to group them all together. And this little, uh, I call it the black Christmas tree. Uh, if I click on this, I'm going to embed it in to minus four. So what that means, it's now going minus four. It's going four millimeters inside of 
uh, the Q. Uh, and so I think that's uh, nice for uh, the bumps. And if I want to be make sure everything's perfect, I can select everything again, align, and make sure that these are perfectly aligned in the center. And now I have uh, my first side of my cube done. Nice little bumps that I can rub my thumb across. Well, that's ready for side number two. I'm going to drag my work plane this time. I'm going to put it on the side of the cube. Okay. Uh, and so let's take a look at our shapes here. Uh, let's pick, um, let's go with a round roof. I'm going to click on the round roof right here. And uh, it doesn't really look like much. I am going to shrink it down to be about six. And shrink this down to be about maybe five. Yeah, three. How about that? Okay. Um, and maybe I'll make it instead of 20, I'll make it 24. All right. Now I'm going to select. Now I'm going to hold the shift button in. I'm going to click on my round roof and the shift button and click on this, the cube. And I'm going to make sure it is aligned in the center of both sides. Now I'm going to click on this piece right here. Duplicate it one two times and use my right arrow key one two three four times and then left arrow key one two three four times there we go now i have some bumps on the side of my cube i'm going to drag my work plane tool anywhere but the cube and now we have two sides done okay now we're ready for uh a third side so i'm going to drag my work plane tool into any side now I'm just you can really pick any side you want there's no rhyme or reason why I'm picking these sides right here uh, this one I'm gonna keep this one real simple I'm gonna drag a big sphere over here um, and I want this sphere to be 30 by 30 so I'm gonna hold my shift button in while I make it 30 by 30 by 30 and I'm gonna take this sphere and I'm gonna make it a hole this time okay uh, I'm gonna click on my cube Hold the shift button and click on the sphere and use my trusty align tool one more time. I'm going to center and center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sphere and uh, I'm going to grab that black Christmas tree and I'm going to embed it into the cube a little bit. And it doesn't seem like much. Okay. But if I were to select the entire fidget cube right now and group it, what it did was it's going to cut out uh, this portion. So now I have like a nice little groove that I can uh, rub my thumb inside of. Okay, so I have three sides done. I have two more to do. Uh, again, I'm not going to do the bottom side. Uh, all right. So I'm going to grab my work plane again. I'm going to pick this side over here. This time I'm going to pick the regular roof uh, option. Click on the regular roof. Now what I want to do is I want to take this roof and I want to make it smaller. So I'm going to hold my shift button in and so I can resize all the sides at the same time and make it a six by six uh, roof. Now I want to center this roof onto the cube right here. But unfortunately, if I were to, to select both and align them, uh, if you look at this box right here, it's actually using the tops of these spheres to align, and that's not what I would like. So I'm going to click on the, the cube, and I'm going to ungroup it. Now I can shift hold my roof, shift hold my cube, and now I can align it, and it'll be aligned with the cube, not the cube plus spheres. And then just like all the other ones, I'm going to click on this guy here, duplicate it one two times use my right arrow key one two three four left arrow key one two three four and i have them uh, evenly spaced apart i'm going to hold my shift button in and select uh these three pieces uh and i'm going to group them together and then duplicate it one two times one two three four one two three four and now i have my fourth side done okay so I have one two three four and now I have one more side that I want to do so I'm going to click on my work plane tool and put it onto the fourth and final side 
Okay, and on my fourth side here, I'm just going to look through my shapes and see if anything uh, stands out that I haven't used yet. Uh, that's something different. Uh, here's one I call a torus shape. It kind of looks like a donut. Uh, if I click on that, and I can put it right in the center right here. Uh, that'd be kind of cool and fun. Uh, and so I want to make this guy a little bit bigger. So I'm going to hold the shift button in, and I'm going to resize it so that the sides are about Yeah, we'll say 30. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to click on my fidget cube, hold the shift button, click on the torus shape, and then I'll align them like I do all the other shapes. And on this one here, I'm going to click on the torus. I'm going to click away, click on the torus shape one more time, and I'm going to sink it into the cube minus four, just like I did with the spheres up top. Now if I click on work plane, move it away. Now I have like a you know, like a little donut shape on the side. And I'm pretty much done. The last thing I need to do is just select everything. I just draw a box over everything, click the group button, and now I have my grouped uh, fidget cube that I could print, uh, put in my pocket, and a nice smooth side, some bumps and edges, and something different on each side just to kind of make things uh, just a little bit different. And uh, if I click on the, the whole cube itself, once it's grouped, I can hold the shift button in. I can grab the top and I can resize it larger and smaller, to, you know, to be any size that I would prefer. Uh, so that's just something to, to keep in mind. And uh, that's how you make a fidget cube. Thanks for watching.